That inmate was 58-year-old Andy Castillo, who was charged with the murder of two women, Cynthia Palacio and Linda Carvajal. Lubbock County Sheriff's Department confirming Castillo's death, but has not said how he died. KMAX Rice Moore spoke with Linda Carvajal's mother, Mary, about Castillo's death. Brian and Lauren, Mary Trevino, the mother of Linda Carbohall, told me that when she found out Castillo had died, she felt like her daughter could finally rest in peace. His death also bringing her relief and an end to the nightmare. She's a little angel now, Dad. She's okay. On April 19th, 2004, Mary Trevino's world was turned upside down. I just cannot believe what he did. That's the day her daughter, Linda Carbohall, was murdered at 21 by a man named Andy Castillo. But almost 20 years later, on August 27th, 2021, Castillo died in the custody of the Lubbock County Detention Center. Trevino said she had forgiven Castillo for killing her daughter, but when she got the news, she felt relieved knowing that her daughter had finally gotten justice. Now I know everything's all right and my beautiful daughter is there's joy in heaven. I'm not happy that he died because I don't deserve death on nobody but you know that's God's will. Castillo was indicted on capital murder charges in December of 2020 for not only Carbajal's murder, but the murder of 21-year-old Cynthia Palacio in 2003. The indictment saying he had strangled both Palacio and Carbajal and that both murders were committed pursuant to the same scheme or course of conduct. Trevino says the years of not knowing when the case was going to end has caused her a lot of stress. It was so painful, you know, but I always gave it to God. The cases were solved after DNA collected at the crime scene of Palacio's death was later found to match Castillo after Castillo was arrested in January of 2020 for other charges. His death bringing this case to a close and finally some peace to those left behind. I don't have to deal with it anymore. God gave her justice. She's resting finally in peace. Trevino says she'd also like to thank the law enforcement officers that worked to solve her daughter's case. The sheriff's office says they're still looking into Castillo's death.